While attention has been focused on ISIS and al-Qaeda, another militant group called Boko Haram has been rampaging across northern Nigeria. You probably recall Boko Haram kidnapping at least 100 schoolgirls last year. Well, this past week, it is believed to have killed hundreds in suicide bombings, and at least two of the attackers were children. Deborah Pata is following all of this for us. Deborah, children as suicide bombers, what can you tell us? Well, there have been two attacks by child suicide bombers just this weekend, both in crowded marketplaces, and doctors believe that one of the children was no more than 10 years old. Now, this whole development came to light when a 13-year-old girl was sent on a suicide mission with two other women to Kano. The women blew themselves up, and after she watched this, she refused to detonate her vest packed with explosives and was arrested by police. She said that her father had given her to Boko Haram. It's known that the group does pay the families of suicide bombers. She told police that she was forced to put on this vest, but it's unclear whether she even knew it was a bomb until she saw what happened to her companions. Do we know why Boko Haram is using children? It's hard to tell, but it's obviously a very worrying trend if it continues. Some of my sources think it signals desperation on the part of Boko Haram. Their extreme brutality is making it very difficult for them to recruit now. And these children are in ready supply in Boko Haram camps. It's believed that they could be the orphan children of Boko Haram fighters killed in the conflict or school children, Scott, taken as spoils of war. Deborah Pata reporting for us from Africa tonight. Deborah, thank you very much.